external defense or uh, the first line of defense now the first line of defense is a part of a type of immunity that you all are aware it is referred to as the innate immunity now innate immunity is that type of immunity which you possess right from the time of birth it is something that is a part and parcel of your anatomical makeup it acts against a wide variety of pathogens in that we have the first line of defense actually happening to be the physical barriers or the mechanical barriers for any pathogen to cross your uh, to enter your body it has to cross your skin as well as the mucous membrane which lines your respiratory digestive as well as your urinogenital systems so we say that the physical barriers or the mechanical barriers are the first line of defense what about the secretions the secretions also belong to the physiological i mean the first line of uh, defense which is uh, they also belong to innate immunity i'm sorry first line of defense is the physical barrier so another component of innate immunity would be physiological barriers i was telling you that there are secretions like gastric acid in your stomach bile juice cerumen or ear wax lysozyme which is present in your saliva in your tears and the nasal hair vaginal secretion sebum and sweat sebum is nothing but the oil that is secreted by the oil glands present in your skin all of these prevent the colonization of microorganisms on the surface and also inside our body what about the second line of defense two things are included under the second line of defense one is referred to as the cellular barrier and one is referred to as the cytokine barrier when we come to cellular barrier you all have learned about macrophages and monocytes which are capable of carrying out phagocytosis there is another wbc which is called polymorphonuclear leukocytes you know this polymorphonuclear leukocytes by the name of neutrophils neutrophils are also capable of carrying out phagocytes phagocytosis and there is a class of lymphocytes which are called as the nk cells or the natural killer cells natural killer cells are known to release certain enzymes which can trigger a cell to undergo apoptosis or self death or um programmed cell death where a cell ends up killing itself and also the natural killer cells can release certain chemicals called perforins which can literally punch holes into the foreign cells these natural killer cells mostly target the foreign cells which are trying to invade our immune system so these are the cellular barriers and in cytokine barriers the most important cytokine that you need to remember are the interferons interferons are called antiviral protein they are actually released by cells which are infected by the virus it is a kind of an alarm signal that the cell which is already infected with the virus is sending out to all the other neighboring cells to alarm or to warn them that there is a virus attack you better be prepared with all your defenses ready so that when the virus enters you you can overwhelm the virus with your attack so these antiviral proteins that you must remember are referred to as the cytokine barriers collectively the cellular barriers and the cytokine barriers are referred to as the internal defense or the second line of defense